Hello everyone. So this video will teach you how to disable the head within the ROM for the Seagate Rosewood portable drive. Now we can check this is a family ID. It's the Rosewood AF. Now let's enter the program. Now we, the software is reading the hard drive ID information and we enter the program. Because we have unlocked this hard drive, so we can check the modus directory. It's very easy with the DFS Seagate firmware repair software to unlock the firmware error for these Rosewood hard drives. In order to disable the head within the ROM, so the very first thing is to back up the ROM first. So this is SN number, and we can back up the ROM. Now the program is reading the ROM from the PCB. This is ROM parse. So users can find out the ROM file saved here. If users wish to find out this ROM, users can go to program, open the working directory, and here it is. So next, in order to disable the head within the ROM, we can click ROM edit. Because we have just backed up the ROM, so we can open the file this is to know the ROM. Now I can copy the ROM parts. So I click here, right click to copy these parts. When we try to load the external ROM, then we can paste the ROM parts here. Select this ROM. So we check the RAP, CAP, SAP, and all the ROM modules available within this ROM file. Next, we click Head Map. Now we can see that there are two heads within this Seagate 1000LM035 hard drive. Now, this one is very helpful. When there is some kind of damage on the platter surface. For example, if the surface zero is damaged, and we need to avoid to read the surface zero using the head zero. So we need to disable the head zero. At this time, we can try to change the zero zero to zero one. Logic map, we can try to edit it to zero one. After, after we edit this head map, this means we have disabled the head zero. If we wish to disable the surface head one, then we can try to edit the head map to change the zero one to zero zero. Zero, 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 zero. So this modification of the head map means we have changed the head map and disabled, disabled the head one. Now we can try to save this head map to disable the head one. Click OK. After click OK, we can try to write to hard drive, click OK to write. 
Now, this is to write the new ROM change of the head map. Because we have just disabled the head one and keep the head zero. So this is how we disable one head within the ROM. But please note one thing, we cannot disable both heads because there is firmware error stored within head zero and head one. If users disable both heads, the hard drive will stop working. Now we can see that the ROM write OK. That means the head map modification has been saved successfully to the drive. Now we can try to power off and power on to check the change. We can see that in the very beginning that this is one indication of the head issue. That means there is some kind of change in the head map or some type of head issue. Now, Right now, if we wish to start the image of this pension drive, we need to go to the DFL DDP data recovery software. Because we have disabled the head, head one, so when we try to start the disk image for this pension drive, we can create one new VHD as one target drive to start this image project. And we can try to set up the head map for this one. Click OK. Now we can see that the software starts the head map setup. Please remember we have disabled the head one. The head map is now zero zero. Now let's check the log window. Right now we need to untick the head one here. Untick the head one and keep head zero because head one has been disabled within the ROM. And within the disk image settings, here we can find out this is a head map, the real head map. The DDP data recovery software has detected this, this one. So this is a head map within the RAM, the RAM, R-A-M head map. So it's zero, zero. Now, we can click OK to image the head zero only. You know, sometimes after we image the good head from the head zero, and we can try to swap the heads, and then we go to the image settings, go to the Seagate physical head map setting, and here we can open the disabled head within the RAM. We don't need to go back to the ROM and disable and enable. No need to modify the head map again within the ROM. We can open the head map here. Zero, zero. We can change the head map to zero. Zero one. 
So after we image the head zero, we can open the head one here. Then click OK. So we can image the head one. But if the surface one is totally scratched, then no need to do this one. Because if you after users swap the heads and the heads one start to read the surface one, then the head one will be damaged immediately. So it depends how the scratches are allocated within the surface one. If there are many scratches or the scratch location are in the middle of the tracks of the surface one, then no need to image the surface one. So we can change the head map within the RAM here. And for all the scratched Seagate hard drives, users need to disable the head map here, disable the damaged head within the ROM here. And after users swap the heads or handle the scratches within the scratch service, then users can go to the data recovery software and change the head map within the RAM. This is RAM, and this one is a ROM, so they are different. So this one is a unique feature within the DFC Gate hardware from repair too. Thank you for watching the video.